What's up guys, my name is Cal, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to play Over the Hills and Far Away by Led Zeppelin. It's a really beautiful song. I'm doing it on this brand new acoustic I just got. This is a Martin uh, GPCPA4. Uh, it's pretty cool. I don't have a plug in anything right now, but it is an acoustic electric. I'm really stoked on it. And yeah, without further ado, let's get into the song. Okay, so the song starts off with this riff, um, which is just an open G. First finger on the second fret G string, hammer on, and then a pull off with that same finger to an open G. Uh, you have to be really comfortable with hammer ons and pull offs in this song, otherwise, it's going to be really hard because the majority of the song is just hammer on and pull off. So, and then third finger on the fourth fret D string to a pull off, and then an open G. That's the first part of the riff, then it just goes to a G chord. And uh, the strumming pattern is down, down, up, down. And then you do the riff again, except for it's slightly different this time, so it starts the same way. But instead of going to an open G and then to the chord, it goes to an open G and then uh, this. So open G. Third finger hammer on to the fourth fret G string. First finger to the uh, second fret G string. Pull off. And then an open D. And it's really hard to get this note uh, to be audible when you're doing so many hammer on pull offs. I even struggle with it a little bit. Uh, so I definitely recommend practicing that a lot to get that little section down. So. Then you go to a D chord, same strumming pattern, and then the same uh, same formation again, pattern, I should say. And then it does this, which is first finger on the second fret uh, A string, bend, uh, pull off. Then first finger on the second fret D string, pull off, back to the second fret A string, pull off, and then an open D. And then to a G chord, and then back into the riff again. So. You go to a C, but it's not your normal C. Uh, it's a C uh, with your first finger on the second fret D string, second finger on the third fret A string, then your third finger on the third fret B string, and your pinky underneath that on the uh, third fret high E. And then take your first and second fingers off, leave your third and fourth where they are, and place your first finger on the second fret A string strum, then first finger down to the first fret A string, and then back up to the, the original chord. Um, so that pattern looks like this. so on and so forth, and then it goes through another rotation of that with the lyrics coming in this time. Um, and then uh, once you get back to this chord, so you've done... And instead of going here, you go... So that's third, sorry, second finger on the third fret uh, low E string. Hit it twice. And then it's that same pattern which we learned earlier. Uh, first finger pull off on the A string, second fret, to the uh, 
D string, back to the A, and then an open, open D, and you do that twice through, so. And you can take your uh, second, and, uh, sorry, third and fourth fingers off there. I just leave them on just because it feels comfortable. And then you go to a D chord, slide it all the way up to the, um, the ninth fret here. So first finger on the ninth fret uh, G string, second finger on the ninth fret high E, and then your third finger on the tenth fret B string. And then move that same uh, finger formation down to the uh, seventh fret. And then back up, back down. And then, which is just a G, to a D, hit the D again. So, all together, this is what we have so far. I'm just realizing I forgot to mention uh, when you do when you're doing this, you go uh, to a, you end it with a D chord before you go back into the riff. So G twice, and then to an A chord, back to the G, and then again that same uh, G to D to A, um, and then the riff sort of starts over again. <clears throat> so that was, I didn't really do, I, I have to say, I don't think I did a great job explaining that. Uh, there's, it's really intricate to, uh, guitar parts. It's really difficult to play to get those sounds audible uh, to make it sound really good. This is one of those songs that requires a lot of practice um, and in turn is also difficult to explain. But I hope you guys understood. If you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments and I will try my best to answer them. Um, so that was Over the Hills and Far Away by Led Zeppelin. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys later.